Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Camille. She is three stars base chainer. That's why I'm gonna compare her to Miyuki and Zidane because they are also a chainer. And I think they are the best of three stars chainer on this game, okay? Like you can see that Camille attack stats is higher than both Zidane and Miyuki. It is pretty good for three stars class. Not only that, she also gets massive 70% attack boost. It is 40% higher than Miyuki's attack and 20% higher than Zidane's attack boost. However, you need to remember that Awakened Zidane can get 110% attack and he also has pseudo dual wield. So right now, in terms of attack, Camille is the second best in the 3 stars class, okay? For survivability, she gets health plus 30%, which is a lot, and defense and spirit plus 10%. So again, quite good. She also has 30% art and water assist. It is nice because with the help of bar stone ga or bar water ga, then she will have 100% resist for those elements. She also has 10% physical evasion. It is kind of small to be useful, but if you want to make 100% physical evasion Camille, then yeah, it may be a little bit helpful, okay? She has poison and petrify resist too. Not the best ailments resist you can get, but cannot complain because she is only 3 stars character. The last passive is 30% counter attack and yeah no auto refresh okay but yeah she's only three stars so don't complain okay that's all about her passive now let's take a look on her abilities i believe you already know that she able to chain perfectly with titus and eileen let's talk about titus first okay so she able to chain with titus by using swift tidal attack the frames data is exactly same as Tita's quick hit. Also, this one in peril water resist by 50%. Like you know that Tita's quick hit cannot in peril water resist. So it is nice to have this as a plus holder until you manage to refill. I mean, manage to fill Tita's LB. Things to note is the starting frames are really tight so even when the frames data is same the execution of the chaining is pretty hard okay if you use yeah trick okay like magnifying glass using macro on emulator then you won't have any problem okay definitely useful for 10 man battles next is our shattering blade this one matches with Aliens Pile Driver Plus 2 or Explorer Alien Pile Driver Finish. The problem with this is it is moving type like Aliens Pile Driver. So mind your position on the battle. For those who doesn't have Alien, don't be too sad because she can chain with Lara Croft's Okay, because Lara Cross Open Wound has same frame as Pod Driver. Okay, the Imperial effect on this skill may be not that useful if you use Eileen though, because Eileen Pod Driver plus two can imperil seventy five percent or resist, which is better. But it is nice for Explorer Eileen if you equip her with Artisan. You don't need to worry about Camille's weapon element because she can imbue element to her on attack. If you use Titus who equip Brotherhood as a chaining partner, then you can use Aquatic Slash. This one deal 2.5 times water damage, which is quite nice. It also buff your attack by 80% good number especially if you don't have soleil or other top tier buffer and the last is it adds water element to your own attack the duration of these buffs are five turns 
which means you don't need to cast it that often. However, I think it is better to get her own trust master reward for herself because Aqua Blade is water elemental sword, which is good for her if you use Titus. So yeah, you don't need to recast this every five turns. It is different than Gaia's Blade. The damage dealt, buff, and duration are same. The only difference is the element. It imbue art element to yourself. So from what I can remember, the best or elemental sword you can get is yeah Gaia Blade with 60 attack it is also limited that's why I think this one is more useful than Aquatic Slash because you can easily get water weapon from her on Trash Reward but not for art element okay so yeah this is only useful if you want to create elemental chain with Eileen equipped with artisan if not then yeah it is also pointless she also able to support your party with elemental resist buff water's healing gives you 70% fire resist its healing power is about the same as kuraga but because she doesn't have high spirit only use this as an emergency healing the regen amount is kind of small to become useful though. Next is Gaia's Barrier. So this will buff all allies wind resist by 70%. Pretty good on Octopus Teacher Trial. The side effect is also nice. 50% defense and spirit buff. Nice for temporary buffs. The last buff is Bountiful Dance. So this one will raise your water and earth resist by 50%. So with all of these buffs, okay, that means she can raise four different elements for your party, okay. So yeah, pretty good support skills. Her LB, Boring Slash, it is good LB, but I don't think it is worthy to level up this LB. The reason is if you use her to chain with Titus then it is better to invest on Tidus LB because yeah it is better 100% versus 75% and for Eileen her power driver plus 2 already in peril 75% are resist so it is also yeah higher 1% higher on the maximum level not mentioning that your swift tidal attack or art shattering blade will deal more damage than this LB if you use dual wield and chain them properly. So I don't think, yeah, don't level it up, okay? Enough about abilities, let's talk about equipment. So one thing for sure, she must equip a sword. Luckily, there are two good swords for her. The first is Brotherhood. It is the best water elemental sword. But if you have Titus, then it is better to use it on him. So yeah, unless you have Titus, then yeah, this only leave you with another option, okay? Her on Trust Master Reward. However, you don't need to take advantage of the dual wield because if you do, then you won't be able to take advantage from the secondary mastery because aqua blade only allow you to equip another sword i think the best is of course okay Viking x it has water element so it won't make you into dual elemental attacker so yeah if you use Viking x then you can give her onion sword if you have it okay also by equipping x you can take advantage of the sworn six pride fire but if you don't have it then it is better to equip non-elemental katana so you can take advantage of the katana mastery enough about equipment my conclusion for camille she is probably the best three stars base chainer on this game i said zidane was the best before but he doesn't have chaining partner 
and his weapons are also kind of limited, okay, and lack of equipable mastery. It is different case for Camille. She has Titus or Eileen and or even Lara Croft as a chaining partner. Okay, her weapon choice are good. Sword, axe, and katana. You can find the mastery for those weapons. Okay, not mentioning her other support abilities. So yeah, pretty good. Also, she hasn't got abilities awakening. Maybe it is good. I'm not sure. Okay, I haven't checked the Japan wiki. So yeah, I think the future is bright for her. Her trust master reward is kind of niche though. I think only two characters that able to use it to the maximum potential, Titus and herself. Actually, Titus doesn't need this because you can get brotherhood from his own trust master reward. The sword dual wield is kind of wasted and useless for veteran because you cannot take advantage from second weapon mastery if you equip two swords. So only get this if you want to do an elemental chain with Titus. Other than that, I don't think you should bother with this, okay? Especially because the attack is still below 100, okay? So pretty low attack for Thrustmaster weapon. I give her 10 out of 10. I think she is the SS tier character on 3 stars class. So yep, I think that's all you need to know about Camille. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave XPS guide. Bye bye guys.